Just take a moment and have a look at two people sitting beside you. The statistics tell us that either you or one of them will be diagnosed with cancer by the age of 85. Frustrating, isn't it? In our body, normal cells grow and divide in a controlled manner. But if this process gets out of control, they become cancerous. And they keep growing and dividing, forming a lump with billion copies of the original cancer cells, which grows in size very fast. So what is the invisible side of this monster? Why cancer cells grow that fast and invade everywhere in our body? I love lollies. Does anyone else love lollies? <laughs> A lot of you. Well, so do cancer cells. Cancer cells love sugar. And one normal says is stop after one piece of lolly, cancer cells cannot stop eating lollies. And they have multiple and complex routes to metabolize sugar for their growth benefit. Today, I'd like to tell you about an exciting approach to cancer therapy based on sugar metabolism. Metformin is an anti-diabetic drug that mimics the fasting condition in the body and reduces the sugar levels in the blood. So can't we cure cancer by simply treating cancer patients with metformin and starve cancer cells by grabbing candy from them? I'll tell you what it's like. If cancer cells are invading this room and we figure out that they're coming through this door, so what do we do is to block this door by metformin so that they can't get in. And what do they do? They find a new way in. They quickly rewire their routes even though it is more traffic or indirect. And that's why we need an additional drug to block multiple doors at once. So what do I do during my PhD project is first to study all these multiple and complex routes that help cancer cells to metabolize sugar. And second, take the advantage of tiny molecules called microRNAs. MicroRNAs are produced from our own genome, and they've been found to strictly regulate cancer cell metabolism. So, using advanced screening robots, which minimize human errors, I'm exploring all 3,000 microRNAs one by one to find the specific ones that are able to block cancer cell metabolism and kill cancer cells when combined with metformin. My early results are promising and have shown that specific microRNAs such as Me34A are able to significantly block cancer cell metabolism and kill cancer cells in the presence of metformin. So I hope that my findings could open a new avenue in cancer therapy, which reminds us again that there is a can in cancer because we can beat it. Thank you.